Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Xiong. Justice Department officials are weighing an amnesty program under which U.S. academics could disclose past foreign funding without fear of punishment for their disclosures, according to people familiar with the matter. High-level officials, including Assistant Attorney General for National Security John Demers, have discussed the program in recent months and circulated a draft proposal for it, these people said. Consideration of the program comes as the U.S. government continues to grapple with how to support international academic collaboration while making sure professors disclose foreign sources of funding. During the Trump administration, the Justice Department tried to target what it says are potentially inappropriate efforts by China to gain access to cutting-edge U.S. scientific research being funded by U.S. taxpayers. Federal prosecutors have brought more than a dozen criminal cases since mid-2019, accusing academics of lying about receiving Chinese government funding or alleging that visiting researchers lied about their affiliation with the Chinese military, some of which have resulted in guilty pleas. The program being discussed could allow investigators to ascertain the scope of foreign money funding U.S. research and help FBI agents focus on the people they believe posed the greatest national security threats, the people said. But the plan hasn't yet been implemented, and some prosecutors are concerned that it could undercut existing cases. Officials in the new Biden administration haven't yet indicated how they will handle the cases targeting academics' U.S. grant proposals. But current and former officials have said they didn't expect major changes in how the department approaches issues related to China. Some academics have escalated their criticism of the Justice Department's focus on foreign research funding saying the government is misinterpreting common, innocuous professional activities. Roughly 100 faculty members from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology signed onto a letter sent Thursday evening to MIT President L. Raphael Reif, expressing their concerns about a federal investigation into their colleague Gong Chen, a mechanical engineer. Dr. Chen, who has expertise in nanotechnology, was arrested last week and accused of concealing relationships with Chinese entities when he applied for grants from the U.S. Department of Energy. Academics are allowed to collaborate with and receive funds from foreign entities, but must disclose those connections when applying for grants from the U.S. government. Dr. Chen has pleaded not guilty and was released on $1 million bond. Professors at the MIT above say the criminal complaint against Dr. Chen shows a deep misunderstanding of how research is conducted or funded. He is accused of omitting from a 2017 Energy Department grant proposal multiple appointments he held, including as a scientific advisor to a Chinese state-owned enterprise, a review expert for China's National Science Foundation, and an advisor to China's Scholarship Council. Prosecutors said he also didn't report those and additional Chinese government awards in a 2019 progress report, after the Energy Department funded the proposal and failed to file a tax report detailing funds in at least one Chinese bank account. According to the criminal complaint, Dr. Chen worked with the Chinese government at least as far back as 2012. The MIT professor said that the criminal complaint against Dr. Chen showed a deep misunderstanding of how research is conducted or funded at a place like MIT, casting routine practices like writing recommendation letters and judging research proposals as nefarious acts. In many respects, 
the complaint against the Gong Chen is a complaint against all of us and an affront to any citizen who values science and the scientific enterprise, they wrote. Former Obama administration Energy Secretary Stephen Chu, who is now at Stanford University, said at a panel discussion hosted by New York University last fall, that while he was concerned about spying by Chinese military-affiliated students and wanted to protect research before publication, he worries the government's actions are pushing talented graduate students and faculty to leave the U.S. In a letter to the MIT community Friday afternoon, Dr. Reeve said he'd heard from many Chinese and Chinese-American students researchers and others experiencing a growing atmosphere of mistrust and suspicion in our society, and reassured them that they are valued at the school. The, uh, the amnesty proposal that Justice Department officials are considering would be similar to a program designed more than a decade ago to encourage Americans with Swiss bank accounts to report those accounts as the IRS stepped up efforts to recover billions lost to overseas tax evasion. In its complaint against the Dr. Chang, the Justice Department described the contact between the professor and the officials from the Chinese consulate in New York about some of the appointments. It said the professor hid most of these affiliations from MIT which requires the professor to file a conflict of interest disclosure and a report of outside professional activities at least annually. The criminal complaint also alleges Dr. Chen failed to disclose to the Energy Department that he served on the advisory board of China's Southern University of Science and Technology since 2012 noting that he and his research group have benefited from approximately $19 million in funding from that school. MIT is covering Dr. Chen's legal expenses. Dr. Reeve said in his letter Friday that he wouldn't address specifics of the legal case, but said the funding relationship between MIT and the Chinese university, known as SUSTEC, detailed on MIT's news site when it began in 2018, is a department-level collaboration and Dr. Chen was only the inaugural MIT faculty director. The agreement includes $25 million to be paid to MIT over five years, he said, including $19 million for collaborative research and educational activities, supporting a number of MIT faculty to date. MIT has received half the expected total amount. The SUSTEC relationship is one of many faculty-led collaborations MIT maintains with academic institutions, Dr. Reeves said. He said such collaborations are crucial to advancing frontier science. One year ago, FBI identified China as the biggest law enforcement threat to the United States, and its director said Beijing was seeking to steal American technology by any means necessary. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I'll see you again shortly.